Hey guys, what's up? So we're here to check out what exactly happens when Hellcurt uses his ultimate, guys. Now, we already know that he increases his attack speed and movement speed for 8 seconds when he does his ultimate. But what exactly happens to his opponents and allies when he does his skill? Uh, since it says Hellcurt summons the knight and makes all enemy heroes lose nearby vision and all allied vision for 3.5 seconds. Now the description alone guys is confusing. So we're here to check out what it really looks like when they say they lose nearby vision. And here we go guys. And as you can see guys, your screen turns darker. But to be honest guys, I doubt that this will have any effects on the opponent's gameplay. I mean, you can still clearly see your surroundings guys. You don't even have to try. So I'm sure it won't affect how the enemies target their opponents. But yes, it is a bit confusing I guess. So uh, I guess the real purpose of your ultimate is that you move faster and attack faster. Now guys, the movement speed is just insane. It increases your movement speed by 65% and it even increases more with skill level. So you'll feel like a real hunter once your ultimate is on. So next up guys is we're gonna go check what happens to your allies vision once you use your ultimate. And here we go guys. And as you can see guys, when it comes to your allies, it barely makes any effects. I mean, you might not even notice it. So there really is no disadvantage for your allies when you use your ultimate. The description is a bit misleading. Uh, by the way guys, your ultimate has a global effect. Meaning, you can use it anywhere on the map and the darkness effect will affect all your opponents and allies. Now, as you can see on this one, guys, Hellcard is all the way at the bottom lane, and then he'll use his ultimate. And there you go, guys, his ultimate still has effects on me. Now, guys, next up is we're gonna go check his passive skill because, again, guys, the description is misleading or maybe just downright wrong. And it says heroes casting skills near Hellcard will be silenced for 1.5 seconds. This effect has a 3 second cooldown on a single target. So we're gonna test it out guys. And as you can see guys, it doesn't work. I don't get silence. But apparently guys, you need to hit Hellcard with your skills for you to actually get silenced. Now, that's actually a big difference and something that should be mentioned. I mean, if you thought that you could silence enemies just by being near them, then your gameplay would be a bit different. Like, I guess, uh, helping out allies that is about to get killed by a burst damage opponent. With your passive skill, you could prevent that just by being near the opponent, guys. But apparently, guys, that's not the case. So anyways guys, at least we cleared that up. So uh, while we're at it, we decided to have a one-on-one -on -one match with Zast and Hellcard. Well, this is just for fun guys. We weren't even really prepared for it. Also, we didn't use any battle spells. And here is the result of that one round guys. And as you can see guys, it's a tie. By the way guys, I got silenced there twice. So I guess Hellcart can be an anti Karina since he silences a lot. And what do you guys think? Can Hellcart take on Karina? Uh, but anyways guys, we're gonna make a separate video of Hellcart versus Zaz and Hellcart versus Karina. So stay tuned guys, thanks. Hey guys, just a quick info, you have a chance to win a totally free skin, all you need to do is subscribe on my channel, turn on the notification, the bell icon, like this video, and comment down below your in-game name, ID number, and the skin of your choice that is under 300 diamonds. That's all guys.